Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today Epic Games purchased Twin Motion. And to be honest, this has very little to nothing to do with game development. But when a game engine maker it purchases a product built on top of their game engine, well, I figured I should cover it, especially when they go ahead and make it free, at least for a limited time only. But I should summarize right up front. This is more about ArchViz or architectural visualization stuff. So this is the kind of thing that an architect would use to do a sales pitch of their models. And this is an area where Unreal uh, has really been kind of pushing as of late. They've got their own ArchViz version of Unreal Engine, but Twinmotion is kind of a solution for um, architectural visualization that is built on top of the Unreal Engine. Now we'll come back to the announcement in a minute, but I'm just going to go ahead and show you how to get it and how it works. So when you come into the Epic Games Launcher, you have to make sure that you have the most current version. And if you do, there will be a Twinmotion tab across the top. Now this is a completely separate install so just go on in here make sure that twin motion is there if twin motion tab does not show up make sure you go down to your tray and kill off any instances of the unreal hub that might be running and run the epic game launcher again at which point twin motion will be here click the install button and then once you've got it installed click launch now this guy is aimed at architects and PR people for creating mock-ups designs videos and so on I don't really see too many game uses here to be honest uh, it would be awesome if it had an export out to unreal engine level design and hopefully at some point in time it will because then you could definitely use this for prototyping game levels very very quickly but here you see a very simple scene and we'll go ahead and we'll open up one of their demo scenes called Material Room, their only demo scene, in fact. Now, again, the cool thing is you can download this guy and use it for free until November of 2019. And the coolest thing is after November 2019, you continue to have your license in perpetuity. I just don't think you're going to get updates or anything past that. So if you want to grab this guy to use it in, in any kind of capacity, you actually can right now. So here we go. We've got our level scene. And I'm actually using uh, right mouse button and WASD keys to navigate around this simple level. So you'll see we got an inside and an outside space space like that and you can easily bring entities into the game world there's a huge supply of them actually built in click this little guy over here and you'll see you've got a number of different things available so we got vehicles out of the box let's bring in an aircraft so we're going to bring a hot air balloon into our environment and i believe it's drag and drop yeah so there you go uh, you can resize it there's manipulators built in so you see that the standard manipulators for moving and scaling and rotating are built in right there. So we now have a hot air balloon in our environment. And the cool thing about this is there's a huge catalog of models here. So if we, if we need furniture, uh, we've got home furniture. So for example, living room, we've got plants. You see in just the huge wealth of materials in the seat. So I have to drag it in. Yeah, yeah. so drag them in and we're populating the scene here. So you can see how if you've brought in your architectural level that you, you know, you were trying to design an office building for someone and you wanted to quickly put things and people and so on into it. Speaking of which, there are full people models in here. So let's go on back up here to the root level here. We'll go to characters and then you'll find there's humans. So for example, we can grab Sue here and drag Sue into the world. And then if Sue is selected like so, I should be able to go all right, where do I find the settings for Sue? Hmm. Not under import, maybe I have to use that. Come on, Sue. Pose, okay, here we go. So once we've got her in, we can change her pose around. So for example, I could put her in a sitting position. Uh, we've got various different sitting animations and you can kind of switch between all these different options. So if you want to just kind of populate people into your world, there again is a huge catalog of them in there. But ultimately what you're going to be doing with this guy is creating an output of some kind. So what I can do here is I can go ahead and I could create basically take a frame or render a single image for like a promotional material, a panoramic image, or I can actually record a video of me walking through. And there's even options, I believe, for virtual reality in here. Unfortunately, there is nothing in here for actually exporting out um, scene levels. So if you want to get your content out of here, you're kind of host. Now you come over here, you'll notice there are options basically for navigating through the objects in the scene. So if we want our hot air balloon, we can select it that way. I can go ahead, you can see we've got various different options. I could um, delete it, I can move it out, I can have a hierarchy of them, and so on. Sue is just dancing away there in the background. Uh, and that's kind of it. So that's the whole idea behind Twin Motion. But what you're probably noticing is it just makes things really, really simple. So let's say I was working with an outdoor space, like what we've got right here in the middle of our building. 
like so. I can come in here to the leaf settings and I can do a bunch of changes. So I can switch out the weather. So if I wanted to be more Christmassy, we can switch between the seasons on the fly, like so. And you get, we can switch between cloud cover or the time of day, like that. So let's say we want it to be almost Christmas. There, snow starting to fall. Our, our biome is a little bit more creative. We can go ahead, we can have special effects such as the wind, make this kind of hurricane gale forced. Let's make this Beijing. So there you go. And we can uh, very, very easily affect our environment. Now, a cool thing is if for game development, this became like a level prototyping tool, that would be awesome. But unfortunately, not a thing. So if you go up, you cannot uh, export out or save out to pretty much anything that's useful to you as a game developer. It is really about creating these presentations and so on. But again, it's a cool enough tool that I figured I should definitely cover it. Um, there is... I wonder if I can drown this world. Let me see if I, you know, let's turn the water on. Yes, it's water world now. There we go. Let's bring the world up and let's see if Sue can dance underwater. Where'd she go? So you can see, yep, yeah, yeah, she's there dancing away underwater, mindless to the fact that she's currently drowning. And dear over there, our uh, receptionist guy over here, he is just happily drowning. So let's, let's bring the water back down so they get a little bit happier. Oops, there we go. There we go. So we're back underwater. He's happy. We're happy. And that's what this tool is all about. So we're going to switch back on over to the announcement blog now that you've seen what it is. And you saw it is super, super easy to use. Uh, Twin Motion makes compelling design visualization easy. Whether you're in architecture, construction, urban planning, or landscaping industry, it is highly intuitive interface enables you to assign PBR materials, set up lighting, even choose the season and weather with just a few clicks. Uh, you can populate with a library of ready-to-use assets, including animated characters and trees, the foliage that blows in the wind. Uh, with as few as two clicks, you can create paths with people walking or moving cars and then vary their appearance to suit your scenes. Um, and that's kind of what it is all about. Now, I guess if you are in ArchViz, you can look at this and go, okay, that is really powerful and that is really useful. Uh, but what I, I don't, again, this is mostly a game development channel. And for game developers, I'm not seeing a whole lot of use unless they bring in uh, Unreal Engine Export, in which case that would be awesome. But probably this isn't an acquisition that is aimed at us. Um, it's absolutely free to download until November 19th and yours to keep using indefinitely after that. So that part is definitely quite cool. Now, if you're interested and learning more about Twin Motion, it is available at unrealengine.com forward slash en dash us forward slash twin motion. And you can see a little bit more of it in action. But you kind of saw it realistically, to be honest, we saw 99% of what it is all about um, right here today. It would be cool to see this getting aimed a little bit more towards virtual reaction, virtual reality, but I think this is firmly in the architectural studio kind of uh, targeting. Now, what's interesting in that level is we go back here to the Unreal Launcher. There was another project they released recently. Uh, if we go to the Unreal Engine tab, oh no, it's library tab, sorry you will find they have Unreal Studio Beta, which is a version of Unreal Engine for engineers and our, you know, architects and so on to create exactly this kind of stuff. But of course, that is just really Unreal Engine with prefabs for architecturalization and visualization and so on. Twin Motion is a full-blown, complete um, visualization solution that's got really nothing to do with Unreal Engine other than the fact that it was built using Unreal Engine. But it'll be interesting to see where they go with this in the future. And it's be interesting to me to hear if any of you guys have any idea of uh, if this is of use to anybody in the game development field. Again, it's obviously useful for um, ArchViz people, uh, but us, uh, maybe prototyping or present that even maybe? I don't know. Let me know. Comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. All right. Goodbye.